The second expansion for Sid Meier's Civilization VI introduces an active planet where geology and climatology present unique new challenges. Face the threat and reap the bounty from natural disasters, manage your power sources wisely, and unite with leaders of other civilizations to find solutions to the challenges of a changing climate. Rise and flourish in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm. There's no escaping the power of nature as it shapes your world and affects your people's fortunes. Where you settle will have consequences that affect your civilization forever, as each terrain faces its own environmental challenges. Natural disasters can pillage or destroy your improvements and districts, but they may also refresh and enrich the lands after they pass. Volcanoes offer high risks, but high rewards, as eruptions can devastate surrounding areas, but volcanic soil is highly fertile and valuable. Storms are unpredictable, varying in size and impact. Desert sandstorms or ocean hurricanes can wreak havoc across your civilization, but also offer a chance of improved food yield in their wake. Blizzards and tornadoes are the most destructive of the storms, though blizzards may have some nice benefits if you're playing as Russia, while grassland tornadoes cause nothing but destruction. Weather every storm to rebuild stronger and smarter. The incredible benefits of settling near rivers now come with the additional dangers of flooding. Floods can destroy and pillage improvements, with even greater damage during severe flooding, but they also offer a chance of greater food yield afterwards. You can prevent river flooding by building a dam or coastal flooding using new technologies like the flood barrier. The complexity of climate change is the final environmental challenge your people will face. As the game progresses and civilizations consume certain fuel resources, carbon dioxide will be released, leading to higher global temperatures and unique consequences, including increased storms or flooding and rising sea levels. While climate can destroy your civilization, resources will build it. Strategic resources are now divided into fuel to meet the power needs of your cities and late game units, and material to make resource-dependent units. Once a city has a fuel supply, like coal or oil, and the appropriate power plant, the city automatically converts the stockpiled fuel into power. Power is especially important from the industrial era onwards. Buildings in a city need it to function at full performance, with unpowered buildings producing less than half their normal yield. Military units also require material and fuel resources for production and maintenance, with resource-deficient units becoming weaker in combat. But be aware, your management of fuel will directly affect the world's temperature and the climate consequences your people will face. Alternatively, you may build green energy sources later in the game, such as hydroelectric dams and wind farms. Nuclear power plants can also provide cities with green power, adding only light carbon emissions, but the chances of a nuclear accident will increase as the power plant ages. Depending on the severity of the accident, the surrounding area will be subject to fallout, just as if a nuclear weapon had detonated. You can protect from this by performing maintenance on the nuclear power plant as a project. The true test of facing global changes is working with other civilizations. Make your voice heard among other leaders during meetings of the World Congress and craft a path toward diplomatic victory. Earn diplomatic favor through alliances, influencing city-states, competing in world games, participating in peace accords and more. Use your favor to help or hinder others. Extract promises from leaders, increase the weight of your votes, or propose resolutions that will affect all civilizations. All emergencies now fall under the oversight of the World Congress and must be requested and passed through a special session before they will receive aid. Now more than ever, the fate of the world will be decided by every nation. The new future era is an uncertain time with a potential for wild discoveries. In each new game, the technology and civics trees for this era are randomized, revealing different costs and prerequisite paths as the game progresses. Players will need to choose their research projects wisely to uncover these futuristic marvels. Combat adverse environmental effects with speculative ideas, such as relocating your population out to seasteads. 
develop advanced technologies and AI to recapture carbon emissions, and discover new items to help achieve science, culture and domination victories. Eight new civilizations and nine new leaders are introduced, including Hungary, Maori, Canada, Inca, Mali and Sweden. Each brings unique bonuses, gameplay, units and more. The world is larger than ever with new world wonders, natural wonders and units, including the GDR and Rock Band. Bend the map to your will with new improvements like railroads, mountain tunnels and the Canal District. And survive the greatest disasters in history in the new scenarios The Black Death and War Machine. In Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm, the world is more interconnected and complex. You must contend with the power of nature, planning for disasters and rebuilding after them, all while navigating diplomatic relations with the rest of the planet. Every path will affect your environment and impact the planet's future. How will you conquer the elements? And what kind of world will you create in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm?